Hi, my name is Matthias from Propellered Software and I'm here today to talk a bit about Balance and Reason. So Balance is quite a straightforward interface. It's a two-channel in, two-channel out interface, but we actually have eight inputs at the back. So you can plug in, you know, the music gear that most people own, maybe a synthesizer, a bass, guitar, a couple of microphones in these inputs. And then here on the front panel, can actually switch between these just by clicking. Super easy. So if I want a guitar, just click guitar. So there's no software control panel or anything like that. It's just everything you see is right here on the interface. And that's really important because you want to sit down and make music. Otherwise balanced, you know, it sounds very good and it's very easy to use. It also has some very interesting recent specific features. It actually does work with everything, PC, Mac, any kind of software but it has some things that makes it a bit cooler in recent, so let me show you. I will go to the Create menu and create an audio track. And on the interface, I will simply switch to guitar where it happens to be plugged in. And it works. What I also need to do, and this is the case every single time you record, you want to check your levels and tune your instrument. So on Balance, there is a button for this called the Meter Tuner. I click it once and I get an input meter. I can simply check my levels and see if I'm in tune. Another thing that people can be a bit scared of is something called clipping. Clipping is when you record audio too loud. You record it over zero decibels, meaning it will actually start distorting. Let me quickly show you how it can sound. Cover your ears. Heavy distortion. We created something called clip safe, which is one button here that enables it, and I will show you exactly how it works by recording something. I have a drum loop here in the background. I'm gonna turn on pre-count and just record something. You'll see I clip on purpose now. You shouldn't do this, but this is just to show you, okay? Good enough. Maybe it's my best take, maybe it's not. The important thing is it actually clipped now, which is a big problem. So if I go back into Reason, I can see I actually have a take here that's distorting. I'm quickly going to change the view so you see here's the top and that's where it cuts off. Now if I didn't really know what I was doing, I would go and I would probably try to take down the level a bit and then play it back. The problem with this is, since I recorded it with clipping, the clipping is still there. With balance though, and clip safe, I actually recorded a backup signal, which I can use to repair all of these tops. Just click the small clip safe icon up here, and voila, no clipping. Which is quite an excellent feature to have. It's like kind of insurance. You don't really buy insurance because you're gonna crash your car. You buy insurance because if you crash your car, you want a new car. It's the same thing here. We hope you never clip your tracks, but if you do, ClipSafe can save you. Reason is now at version 6.5, and it's brought a lot of things along the way. So one thing I wanna show you is just a lot of the stuff that's in there now. For example, if I were to make this into a track, I can quickly, I had a drum loop set up. I can use this drum loop. Maybe I want some effects to this. I want to compress it a bit. Like always in Reason, you can take any part, go here to the tool window and just drag it on top of it and see what happens. So I'm gonna go with a compressor. Boost the input level a bit. There we go. That's how simple it is to add a compressor. And what about the bass loop then? I'm gonna go to my sequencer and set up a little loop around this. And then I'm gonna add probably an amp to this bass, because it's sounding a bit boring right now. And that's how easy it is to add an amp. Uh, beyond this though, Reason comes with tons and tons and tons of patches. So if I want to create some keyboard to this, I don't actually have to know what device should make it but I can go to the Create menu and select Create Instruments and find something that works. I go to the Factory Sound Bank, 
And here in all instrument patches, I can actually go to piano and keyboard and see what's there. So I go to electric piano. And immediately, if I want to try something, I can just click it. And try it on my keyboard without actually loading the patch. It does it all in the background. Let's see if this is better. That works. Then I load it. And I'll go back to the sequencer by pushing F7. And I can just record this on top of the bass groove I've got. Now this might not be my best take ever, so I'm gonna make sure I quantize it too. I just select the clip, go to the tool window. Up here you have quantize notes. I can quickly select 16th notes and apply. Another part you might not have seen of Reason is the big mixer. For every single track you create in Reason, every instrument, you get a new mixer channel. And this mixer is really something else. It's based on a well-known British mixer. And when we say it's based, we mean that we actually took care to make a mixer that works like a mixer. Everything from input gain, all the standard stuff with the signal path, down to fully modeled compressors, gate expander on every channel, low pass and high pass filter, four band EQ, insert effects, send effects, simple stuff like faders. Everything is right there at your fingertips. So even if you're not familiar to, with a mixer, that's okay. You can just take away these parts that you don't care about. So maybe if you're a beginner, it's best to start with just the faders. And then slowly when you learn more stuff, you can go in here. Okay, now I wanna add some reverb or go into the EQ, for example. And now I want to start EQing my song. So everything is here for you if you want it. And the other strength of Reason is, of course, how modular it is. So this Rhodes patch I just loaded up, this is actually a combinator that contains a lot of different devices that make up the sound. A sampler, some distortion, an EQ, some chorus, compressor, all that. It's in one patch, and if you want to be a bit bold, just push tab and see how it's all wired up. Another thing that's entirely new in Reason 6.5 is something called rack extensions. Rack extensions is basically third parties being able to do Reason devices. And when we say Reason devices, we really do mean Reason de devices. So if I create something like the Korg Poly 6 by Korg, it actually pops up in the rack like it would any other recent device. Of course, it has cables. Of course, it has simple automation, right-click, edit automation, and remote overrides. So you can control it with your keyboard. And of course, you can also take this synth and add, for example, a pattern sequencer. It connects itself to the CV inputs and... Suddenly you can sequence this Korg Poly 6, a third party device with the built-in recent stuff. Rack extension also has a lot of technical advantages. One example is that when you buy one rack extension, you don't have to worry about actually having to update it. Or if you have a Mac and a PC, that's not a problem. Because every single rack extension works on Mac, PC, 32-bit, 64-bit. And in 10 years, as long as Reason works, your rack extension will work. So I mentioned balance in the beginning, and balance actually comes with some software. It comes with something called Reason Essentials. And in fact, if you have Reason 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, it actually comes with a free upgrade to Reason 6.5. But a lot of people ask me, so what's Reason Essentials then? What's the big difference? Well, Reason Essentials, as you can see, is quite similar to Reason. In fact, they both have rack extension support. So in Reason Essentials, I could also add, for example, a Korg Poly 6. Not a problem. The only difference really is that the mixer is a bit smaller for those people who don't really want to dive in right away. And it also has some less devices, but it comes with pretty much everything you need to make a really good track from drum machine, synth, the ID8, which has a bunch of really good preset sounds, Dr. Octor X, to all the studio effects, guitar and bass amp, reverb, and all the mastering stuff. So you get a bunch of really good tools with Reason Essentials. 
And that's really the big difference. They have the same unlimited audio tracks, they have the same time stretch engine, they have both a really big factory sound bank, so you get a lot of sounds with it. So Reason Essentials is great for anyone, really. And if you buy Balance and you don't want Reason Essentials, give it to a friend. Maybe you can start making music together. So that's pretty much what's new in the world of Propellerhead. Reason 6.5, Reason Essentials 1.5 and Balance. If you want to try anything of this out, go to propellerheads.se and you can download the demos. You can reach us on Facebook, Propellerhead Software, or on Twitter, PropellerheadSW, if you have any questions. Thank you.